we're going to carry on our exploration of addition. What we're looking for again is quick and easy ways we can do addition, particularly so we can just do it in our head. So let's think about a, a, a question like um, calculating 37 plus 18. Now I know you've probably got a good method for doing it which involves going something like this 37 18 and you go 7 plus 8 gives you 15 which is 5 and 110 gets carried over then you go 3 10s 110 and 110 makes 5 10s and you get your answer of 55 and that's a perfectly good way of doing this calculation. However, we want to also be able to try and do this one in our heads. And one of the ways I have found very useful for doing that is to try and get a very strong picture of a number line in our heads, and then we can do it easily. Let me show you what I mean. Let me show you how I do it on the number line. To do 37 plus 18, what I'm going to do first is just say, look, I know 18 is made up of a 10 and an 8. So the first bit is very easy. I start at 37 and I need to go 18 steps further forward. I know 18 is made up of 10 and 8. So the first thing I can do is make that jump of 10 and we've practiced doing that plenty. We know if we go from 37 a jump of 10 we get to 47. Now we have to do 8 steps. And we've just practiced doing that in our last one. So we know if we go from 47, 8 steps on, this should be easy for you now. To the closest 10 is a jump of 3. And then a further jump of 5 gets us to our answer of 55. If I practice this enough, I can soon do it in my head. Thinking, when I do 37 plus 18, I almost close my eyes and can picture a number line in my head. 37 plus 10 on the number line is going to get me to 47. Then I've got to add on 8. Adding on 8, it'll be a jump to 50. And another jump of 5 gets me to 55. And that's the idea that I want you to get. Practice enough using a number line. And hopefully, eventually, it will be in your head. So, for example, let's have a look at something like 28 plus... 33. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is say I start at 28 and I'm going to split up 30 into 30 and 3. I'm going to split up 33 into 30 and 3. Okay, so let's start at 28. Now, I've got to go up by 30. Well, that's just three bounces of 10. So let's bounce one 10, I get to 38. Another 10, I get to 48. And the third 10 gets me to 58. So there are the bounces of 10. The last thing I need to do then is to add on that 3. And again, we've been practicing doing that. 58, adding on 3. Bounce of 2 will get me to 60. One more to do the 3 gets me to 61. And so my answer here is 61. If we know that 28 plus 33 is 61, tell me what will 33 plus 28 be? You know the answer has to be 61, right? Let's just see how 33 plus 28 would work using our little method. So our method says split 28 up into 20 plus 8. We start at 33 and then we do jumps of 20 and then a jump of 8. Well, a jump of 20 is going to take us to 53. 33 plus 10 gets us to 43. 43 plus 10 gets us to 53. Then we've got to make a jump of 8. Well, from 53 to 60 is 7 steps. We know that because of our bonds to 10. And we still have to do one more to make it 8. And we can see that that ends us up at 61, just as we would expect. Ultimately, what you want to do is to be able to do this in your head 
without actually going to the number line. So let's just think about if you can picture how to do something like 37 plus 25. We know we're going to do that by saying 37 plus 20 plus 5. Let's see if we can actually picture that in our heads. Close your eyes and let's think about it. If we do 37 plus 20, we've got to do two bounces of 10. 37 plus 10 will get us to 47, plus another 10 will land us at 57. So we're now sitting at 57, but we still need to add on 5. 57 jump to 60 will get us three steps further on. We need to do two steps more, and that will get, end us up at 60. Two. So, our answer in that case is 62. And that's how ultimately I'd like you to be able to do it, just being able to picture it in your mind. But for now, you're welcome to use the number line to practice it. You need a lot of practice actually doing it on the number line before you'll be able to just play with it easily in your head.